YouTube, it's Kim, and it's time for my weekly weigh-in update. I was down 0.6, bringing my total weight loss to 122 pounds. I am very happy about that. Y'all, I am struggling mentally. I am struggling. Every day I feel like, feels like a battle. Every day. <laughs> My old self, old Kim, is like tempting me, wanting me to eat, and it's been really hard. I have to be honest, it has been very hard, but I just keep going. I just wake up every single day and tell myself, I can do this, you got this. I try to read motivational stuff. I look to motivational people on Instagram to keep me going, and I just know that I'll never give up. Super excited to tell you guys, my mom joined WW, I know I want to say Weight Watchers, my mom, my mom joined WW on Saturday. I was so happy to be able to go with her to her first workshop, aka meeting. I had her go to one of my favorite leaders in close to where she lives because she lives about 50 minutes from me and it was wonderful. My mom is super motivated and I am just so excited for her and I can't wait to give her the support that she has given me all these years. So the quote I posted on Instagram the day she joined I want to share. Day one or one day you decide. So do you tell yourself one day I'm gonna do it. One day I'm gonna go back to WW. One day I'm gonna get back to the gym. No make today your day one and just do it because if you're just sitting there thinking about it What's that gonna do? Nothing. Get up, boss up, and get it done. All right, this week's weekly is all about how to find ways to love physical activity. So thinking about this weekly had me laughing, thinking about all the things that I have tried. Because I didn't just wake up and become this person who loves activity and loves to work out and loves Zumba, no. I hated to work out. I dreaded working out. It was like the bane of my existence. So it's so funny how I have just made a total complete flip and now I live for it. I love activity. I love the way it makes my body feel. I love the way it makes my mind feel. And I just feel so physically fit. It's funny, when I started this channel, if any new subscribers, I started this channel with my friend Lori, who's no longer on the channel with me, and I was the fabulous part, and she was the fit part. And when she left, I kinda didn't feel like I should keep the fit part because I didn't feel fit, and it was kinda like, eh, I'm not really a fit and fabulous mama, and I was gonna change it, but I kept it because I like, you know, stay fit and fabulous. And I'm so proud to say that now I do feel fit. I do feel fit and fabulous. So I love being a rep representation of what my name is. That makes me proud. So all the things that I have tried leading up to where I am right now. I have joined LA Fitness three times, two times before this final third time. I went maybe a couple times and then I quit. I've joined Planet Fitness two times I would say I went to Planet Fitness a good year, one of the times, so that was good. I joined Curves, and then I stopped that. I have tried cardio kickboxing classes, hip hop classes. I have been to yoga at the gym, yoga in different studios, yoga in the park. I've done Zumba in studios that are not in gyms. I've done strength training. I've done personal training with a trainer at the gym. I have done Couch 2 5K more times than I can count. I have literally started and stopped Couch to 5K, I wanna say about 30 times to 40 times, no joke. And I will link this video down below, but I finally, finally completed it. It's, it for anyone who doesn't know, Couch to 5K is like an eight week running program where you go from literally not being able to run to running a 5K. It took me years to get to the point of completing a 5K, but yeah, I have started and stopped that numerous times. So what I'm trying to tell you, the point I am trying to make here is Nobody wakes up being a fitness loving, you know, athlete. Nobody 
everybody starts somewhere. So if you are sitting on a couch, if you haven't worked out in a long time, you see that door right there? Go out the door, go for a five minute walk. Think about what activity do you like? What do you think would make you happy? How do you want to move your body? Do you like to swim? Do you like to walk? Do you like to dance? You can go on Groupon, uh, you know, a deal site. They have so many different things in the fitness category, at least where I live. There's like probably 50 different things I could try. And what's great about that is it's low cost. It's only for a short period of time and you can try a few different things until you find something you love. Because I heard this once and this gets me out the door. One hour, a one hour workout is only 4% of your day. You got 24 hours in a day. So one hour is just about 4%. So take that 4% for yourself, get your workout done, because it's sure it will help your weight loss, but the biggest thing it will help is your mind and your mental wellness. For me, Zumba is like a happy pill in a bottle for me. It makes me so happy. I get, I call them Zumba vibes. You know, if you follow me on Instagram, you see how happy I am after my workouts because it just brings out a pure joy and happiness in me that I had never found before in any other workout that I've done. So check out this video of me at the front of the class with my amazing instructor, Emily, in Zumba. <laughs> the best time as you can see I just love Zumba I feel like so confident and happy and just the best I feel the best when I'm at Zumba and you can see my Zumba instructor is amazing all her routines are just so fun it literally feels like I'm at the club it doesn't even feel like a workout I mean don't get me wrong it's really super tough I burn nine times out of 10, over 800 calories in an hour. So it is like a calorie scorcher. So I just love it. I feel lucky and hashtag blessed to have found it. And I'm just gonna keep up with it. And what I do to make sure that I get my workouts in, I set my calendar. I put every single workout in my Google Calendar. So my hubby knows, so I know it's an appointment with myself that I am not gonna cancel. Then just today, Time Hop showed me this picture of me crossing the finish line of my first 5K 10 years ago this week. This 5K had so much meaning to me. When I was over 300 pounds, I dreamed of one day, you know, crossing the line, crossing the line of a 5K. It was like just such a big dream for me. It's so when I crossed the line that day, I immediately started crying and it was such a full circle moment for me because I have been trying for years and years and years to lose weight and I'm just so happy that all these times, all these attempts, all these tries has brought me to where I am today, 122 pounds down. And you know, when someone asks me, First, they want to know how much did you lose? 122 pounds. The second question always is how long did it take you? You know what I'm going to say now? My entire life. How long did it take you? My entire damn life. Because I have been at this since I am 
in elementary school. I have been overweight since I am in elementary school. I have, what I weigh right now, I weighed in elementary school. So, I needed to see that picture today. I needed to see that picture today to remind me how hard I have worked, how dedicated I have been to myself and this journey. Sure, I really haven't been steady on this journey, you know, it's just about three and a half years now that I've been super focused and have never given up. Before that, it's been start, stop, start, stop. And I did give up. And that's why this final time I was like, nope, I am never giving up. So yeah, I needed to see that picture today. I am so proud and so grateful of where I am today. And I'm just gonna keep fighting. And I am just gonna keep fighting to live my best life, to be my happiest self. And I want that for all of you guys. So I hope you guys are doing well. If you are struggling, it's okay. We are in this together. Every day is a new day. Every day is a fresh day. So I hope you guys have a great day and a great week. I'll see you guys next week. Stay fit and fabulous. Bye.